It's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime with the Sleepy Boys. Merry Christmas! Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Merry Christmas! Mark, there's poops floating. Those are cookies. Okay. Here they are. Manos. Yeah, sure, I'm gonna take it. Yeah. Manos means hands. It does. Manos the mouse. <laughs> hands the mouse. I hope you walk right into a cat and die. I hope you walk right into the boiler room of the Titanic. Might not be uh, that easy. I'm not the strongest swimmer. No, like, I, I hope circa 19... whenever that thing What's a sank. sea urchin? It's like a sea urchin, but it's way oh. fucking cooler. Mark, or I could just get rich and uh, go on some rich, uh, some other rich pricks. Titanic submarine. Fully built, you know. yeah, fully built, uh, some. Oh, you mean the- On Christmas at the bottom of the ocean right now. Why isn't the key there? Well, I think right now he's at home with his wife. <laughs> One can hope. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just keeping you know, my house. making sure he's gonna have that progeny thing. What if, what if, in order to have a baby, you had to just, like, add, keep adding to it every time? <laughs> like, so what, like, keep coming on your child? Like, no, like, every day you just have to completely fill up your, your significant other with, it's like, it's like, uh, building with Legos, you just piece by piece it. <laughs> What are the pieces here, Mark? What? What are the pieces? They're little cum Legos. You know, just little cum Legos. Oh, yeah. Do you have to, like, dump in there every... like? Do, so is it you just gotta dump in them every day? Or, yeah. like, you have to dump in them and then find a way to move the dump around? You just yes. make or like come offering into, like, an ice yeah. cream mold and oh, then let it no dry? Cheese. Oof. And then Man, I've got a I solid hope she Lego likes brick. Nice day. Actually, if you put them in a little Pez dispenser, they're nice little to-go snacks. You're fucked up, man. <laughs> that was... That was a... Says the guy well. who posited the question. That was a murder. That was a... You murdered my face with that. God damn it, motherfucker. Lucky. Uh, Do you have three cheese? I have three cheese. One of them is from under cheese. I get so excited to turn that I turn too quickly. Mallory, got a little squeaker. What does a little squeaker do, though? Mm, maybe you'll need it for later. But the mouse has it. Okay, but maybe it can pass on to fists or whisks. Never get bored of a cheese board, okay. What's Actually, let's there? just see. I just have the broken horn. Uh, what's in here? It's it's the streamer. That's the, yeah, that's the Aww. streamer in the shower. The Christmas tree. The Christmas tree? Yeah. Nothing. Oh. I thought that was a little mouse door. I'm gonna explore everywhere just to make sure I'm not missing anything. <sighs> oh, fuck. I don't like his little footsteps. Those are not little footsteps. Those are heavy fucking footfalls. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a goddamn <laughs> elephant stomping through the North Pole. Don't mind me. I'm just a cute little fucking mouse. What happened, Jeff? You okay? Uh, hang on. He was flipping a pancake and it got stuck to the ceiling. <laughs> Do we need to call 911 for you? I was getting my new blanket. What if the plot blanket? twist is the mouse fucks Santa? What kind of new blanket? Oh. Kind of like how Ant Man was supposed to destroy Thanos. I would. I still oh, wish the they anus. Had that, that ending. The anus. 
Der er en anus. I have your restaurant, the McDonald's, and I eat 50 packs of your red soup, the ketchup, and now my anus hangs like a wizard. Okay, we don't need all this. Leave it with me. By the way, Angel. Nut! Yes. Nuts. This is my new blanket. What's your new blanket? This is my new blanket. Oh, oh, picture or video or something. Oh, is it shark? I'm sorry if that was loud. I got a shark that. blanket. Nice. I got her a shark blanket for her birthday. Yeah. It makes me so happy. And it's got little footsies, and if I want, I can put my hands in the fence too. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think she. Do you guys have the same exact thing? It makes me so happy. It's Where do I get the cozy. fucking cheese board? I'll tell you what, it makes work way fucking better. People start pissing me off, I put on my shark blankie. Then I don't care that they're pissing me off, because I'm wearing a shark blankie. <laughs> Your comfy blankie. It's so comfortable, too. Oh, Tell you what, I'm glad I fucking got it. Oh, yeah. And they're super soft. It's so goddamn oh. soft. Yeah. Needs a gold key. I uh, still have not figured out how to get the gold key. Turn on. There you go. I uh, getting two fucking what are they called? You know those. Oh god, Jeff, we are not looking at you right now. What? Where's I you? don't know. What are you talking about? I don't oh. know. I have no idea. What's vaccines. I'm getting two <laughs> vaccines tomorrow. Why? Oh, the two oh, okay. I'm getting my flu shot and my COVID booster at the same time. Yeah, it's not special like, about that. I'm just certain I'm going to end up just feeling like shit tomorrow night. Absolutely. I hope that you don't. I don't want you to feel like shit. Last time I had my COVID yeah. vaccine, I was sure, like, my shoulder was going to fall off because it was in so much pain. Like, the actual blade in the back, it was tender, even though she got my arm. Didn't make sense. So the weird thing is, like, the COVID vaccine and the first booster, 100% fine. Didn't, like, didn't hurt at all. Nice, normal, like, all right, let's do this. Then the second booster, and uh, I got that the same time I got my flu shot last year. Yeah. And damn, they knocked me like they. And the weirdest thing is, like, I was fine. I went and saw a movie with some friends that night and everything. And then the second the movie was over, all my energy was gone, and I was like, I just, I just can't human right now. Yeah. That's <laughs> okay. what happened to my kid too. <laughs> But I'm flying to Chicago and then Hawaii soon, so I figure I should probably have these shots. Hawaii? What you doing there? Nice. Vacation and uh, some volunteer work. Nice. I'm very excited. Yes, I'm very, very Sounds excited. Fun. What kind of volunteer work is it? Yeah. Uh, whatever they need to help after the fire. Okay. That's good of you, man. Yeah, we're just going to... Yeah. Yeah. You know, my family is going to Maui a lot, and we fucking love it there. So it's nice to be able to, like, give something back. Yeah. How did you, uh, yeah. get involved with that, too? Who are you working uh, with out so, there? Uh, I don't know. My mom knows. My mom and I are doing a nice little pre-Christmas vacation, so... She set nice, it all up, dude. and I just said, hey, whatever, day, whatever time, I don't care, you let me know when I'm in. That's very cool of y'all. To do it with family, that's yeah. even, even more special. Yeah. The fuck? It'll be nice. Yeah. Also, that means I won't have to spend nearly as much money because mom, I don't know all this me, so she'll, 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 she'll buy all this shit. It would be awesome. Because I'm there a cheap bitch. And then I get to see Boy, the goats be. again. I'm very excited for the goats, guys. It's a goat dairy farm. They have fresh, like, still warm goat cheese. Oh, nice. Oh. Right? 
And then down the street from that is a vodka distillery. But instead of potatoes, they use sugar cane. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. And Wait. It's so fucking good. What is that called? That? That's a specific type of... Ocean vodka. It I comes in a bottle that... Like a, it is so... Trust me, it is delicious vodka. You can get that at any liquor store, and the bottle is so fucking cool. Yes! Okay, the part yes, that I, I do know cool. of that. Yeah, it's really good. It's so smooth. Because they also use deep ocean water. So, like, it's nice. water from underneath where the ocean is salty. It's awesome. But they also have, um... They've got a rum there that is some of the tastiest rum I've ever had in my life. But the rum they only sell at the distillery. So, I'll grab a bottle of water. And then I'll come home and keep being a greedy fuck, like always. I'm really excited for that last part. Ha! <laughs> huh. In my... So, on you, Riz, I got, the sm I got the spicy for you already. In my younger 20s, I didn't really know how to handle my alcohol. Still I still don't. don't, yeah. I don't know how... I <laughs> guess. Mark immediately well, called you out on yeah. that. But... In my upper 30s, I still don't know how to deal with it, so you're good. Yeah. Handle it, I mean. I went to a bar in West Virginia, and it was just like one of those... Already like, gross. Yeah, down, down home, hole in the wall ones. And Your upper yep. 30s? Upper 30s? I'm in my upper 30s. Are you past How old the are five? You? How old are, are you? Are we rounding up? Yeah. Oh. You're 37, right? Guys, let's, yeah. Let's put it this way. I realized when I was really down last uh, birthday, uh, and I was like, oh, haha, maybe I'm having a midlife crisis. I might have actually been having a midlife crisis, guys. That'll happen. That's how old I am. I don't think you're old. And you don't look old what? either, so double win for you. I'm 37, and evidently the average lifespan for men in America now is 74. So, I'm middle-aged. I think it actually might be oh. 72. Yeah. Well, Jeff, you know... I hope you Well, have, I mean, I there's some good news. Fast. At least I've done nothing with my life so far. Yeah. You always got that going for you. So, you really, yeah. it's only, you're only going to go up from here. Yeah. Instead of saying, Oh, well, God, no. Here, I could do so much worse, guys. Until from here. In a good way. I'm really excited way. to prove you guys wrong. There is a hill involved. You're going one way or the other. <laughs> I know, and I know which way. <laughs> Angel, tell us about sad bars in West Virginia. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I got penis. <laughs> so, Ooh. I have been to have also this problem where I make friends with the bartender and then I am a very weird person on top of that. So in this particular mm -hmm. circumstance for this particular bar, uh, the girl was very nice and we were just chatting it up and then it got to be like closing time and I was just sloshed at that point because it was a flight of whiskey tasting and I did not know that you're supposed to like Ooh. sip. I thought, yeah. Sort of, yeah, these are very big glasses down. I didn't like These that are one. large shots. <laughs> and then it got to be closing time, and it's just like a small handful of people, like your regular locals that are like known to be there because they're there forever. Me, the bartender. No, no, no. Hey, hey. It's they're there because they're sad and alone. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> they earned the right to be there. They're not just some foreign outcast person that just came in all glittery like me angel i worked in bars for years no they still suck they're worse because they think that they get to stay after hours when you're trying to fucking close oh well it was the closing time so don't worry and i wanted to stay still so i was like yep. i can help you close and that's what i did i started wiping down counters and sweeping for her and then she was like you didn't have to do that but i appreciate it do you want a shot of something and i'm like i I want a shot of something blue, and I pointed to that, the ocean vodka. Oh no! Yeah. Oh good. That After that, I okay. was in the parking lot. 
Yep. I was unconscious a couple when of times. When you said something blue, I thought you meant like blue vodka. Else, so. No. Or like blue curacao, which is just straight fucking sugar. Maybe that would have helped, but no. No, that, sugar would have made it work. Black. No, yeah, you would have got a bigger well, headache. That's a little racist. What? Well, I mean, I had a charcoal pill, so like I was literally puking black. <laughs> <laughs> Just got what Jeff said. There you go, buddy. Silver Heads up, I'll also say that if you're like, yeah, it was pretty dark out, I'll be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. A little racist. I, so all they gotta do is really just, you know, smile with your teeth. Oh. <laughs> hey, oh. Mark, have you figured out how to stop sucking yet? Uh, yeah, I'm actually I'm on a roll. It released the oh, job. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to cut the balls. Cut the balls. Actually, now that I'm thinking about this, the coincidental the unethical balls? life pro tip here is that if you want free alcohol from your bartender, do some chores for them, and they'll give you free alcohol. <clears throat> or food. Yeah. That too, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's really doubling down here now. <laughs> I I worked at a couple of conventions from my work and yeah, gave all free food and they gave us free drinks. Mm -hmm. I need piss. Where's piss? The bartenders are definitely happy to trade food for uh, drinks. They don't own the liquor, so they're not losing anything yep. there. Oh god, I'm so horny. I thought it was weird in Utah seeing all the like machine thingamabobbers. The measurement pour electronic. Uh, those things are so fucking stupid. We just eyeball it up here. I mean, there are some stingy ones that do put on the actual little like pour spout thingy that only measures out, but it's not. It's not an actual like electronic cap. It's just a plug-in to the bottle. Uh, yeah, oh, it does slow pours. Yeah, that. I'm sorry. Okay, the slow yeah, pour is just a slow pour, so you can get an accurate like eye count. Yeah. But I haven't seen the yeah. mechanical like the. The They're mechanical so ones, yet. Weird. It's well, like this black cat. Jose, there's another. Did they one really just get stingy of like bartenders just giving away alcohol? So that no. In, so in, in Utah, Utah, it's a lot it's more because... strict. Oh, yeah, okay. It's because they're afraid of people getting drunk and dancing. <laughs> How do I get that? Oh, that's right. There's like less physical touch there in this state, right? Uh, yeah. There is a Provo push though, so that's cool. Float. There's the both. Provo, the Provo float. The Provo push is where uh, your friends then push the two mattresses into each other. So while you're doing the float, you're still doing the in and out, but it's okay. God can't see it because you're not the one thrusting. Yeah, because God's a T-Rex, you know? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> okay, we actually have oh, so a T-Rex. And... You can't. You can't. God, also, a Jose, there are uh, poor spouts now where it looks like it's just a regular uh, plastic pour spout, but there's a little ball bearing in there. So it also stops you um, from pouring any extra. Okay. It's, it's supposed to be exactly one ounce. The problem is, first off, most drinks are one and a quarter ounce. Second yeah. off, uh, when the bottle starts getting l low, the, there's not enough force pushing the liquor down, so it doesn't work properly, and it starts cutting it off just randomly between, like, 0.5, like, 0.25 to, like, 1.75 ounces. It's the dumbest fucking thing ever. Where you could just, instead, teach your bartenders how to pour goddamn drinks. Or live in yep. Ohio, where they just do it by their eyeballs. Okay. Well, that's the thing. I mean, you can get pretty you accurate with eyeballs, the eyeball. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I... Like that's what my entire company does. My what am I doing? Learned wrong? How to bartend. What am I doing wrong? It's really easy. She was also a uh, well, the still breathing is probably the biggest thing you're doing wrong. Oh shit! I need piss. <laughs> oh, okay. That was just fun. I need to go make the reindeer blush. So, you guys know how Steve-O is a stand-up now? Yeah. 
I uh, paid for his last special. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the way he does his stand up is, as you guys know, but the way he does it is, he realized half his stories have been filmed. So now what he does is he tells you a story and then he shows you, like, the footage. Right. This last one was a bunch of stuff that Jackass wouldn't let him do. Really? Wouldn't let him do or would? Would not. Oh, wow. It was insane. Like, so he ends it with something he's been wanting to do for a while called Skyjacking. Oh. Where he goes tandem skydiving, naked, mm -hmm. and jumps out of the plane and starts wildly masturbating and comes on the way down. How long do you have from plane He's to got land? a window of about two minutes. He may have to be fully wrecked before he leaves the plane, though. Oh yeah, they uh, had they he took like some Vicodin, he had some lube, and they gave it. Uh, like, he evidently stopped watching porn years ago, so this was the first time he was watching okay. porn in years. So yeah, it was good to go. But yeah, he yeah, so it, it helps. Suck if he couldn't find anything oh, good on the way down. Right, he's just scrolling <laughs> through his phone on page cool. ten. <laughs> that was part of the story. Oh no, no, it wasn't the internet. It was a DVD. Oh. So it was. Player on the way home or on the way down and he was sitting there talking about how he was like i mean the blowjob wasn't doing it and then it's like all right do i chance skipping the scene might get something worse who knows and it was actually really funny but then he uh he, he was he was good guys he jumped out and came all over himself and the uh tandem guy that's Wee. great it's a treat for everyone I'm so happy. <laughs> so that was what he closed the uh, the show with. That was not the worst at all. Uh, there was one. Worst does he mean uh, like you didn't like that skit, or just like? Oh no no! Like he did things that were much more fucked up. Oh okay. Such as they showed his vasectomy. They showed him getting a vasectomy. Then they showed him riding a horse bareback. After? Yeah, directly after. No. They had him ride a horse bareback. They had a bunch of people kick him in the nuts. They had a couple of kids. Uh, uh, they strung him up like a pinata and just had the kids whack him in the nuts with a baseball bat. And all the kids were Mexican, which I thought was a little racist. But that's, I mean, hey, that's not my, that's, that's, that's Steve-O's uh, choice, not mine. It was it was pretty interesting. Also, do you know that you're <laughs> awake when you're getting your nuts uh, chopped off? Good, that means my yes. dad it's suffered. Yes, it's the twilight more. sleep. I would no, you're awake. awake. Twilight sedation. Yeah, I would want to be. Like still conscious, but you're just it's... numb. No, no, oh, you're no, nothing. You're, you're like there. Awake. Oh. Uh, so you still feel all of it. Oh. Just yeah. numbed. It's it's like when you're getting uh, dental work. Oh. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But in your bean bag. I'm sorry. Okay, I There's cheated. There's gotta be a better way. Well, the better way. There is, are, but it's know, still it's not getting funded. Yeah. yeah. Then uh, he also had one where uh, he wanted to like get roofied or something like similar and then like see how far he can run but <laughs> because he's a recovering uh because he's a recovering drug addict he couldn't do it so instead they gave him an epidural and then he tried running oh my goodness he did not make it far not what i'm also, imagining. that was super duper illegal so the doctors that did it for him had to be covered head to toe so you couldn't tell who they were on camera. What's an epidural? That's what they get women in the spine when they're trying to push a baby out of their vag. <gasps> oh, wait, so where was he? You he was like in a field. Sneaky. He was like in a field 
and like running into like uh like a thicket of you know thorns and shit. <laughs> God damn. Yep. Stevo's uh Stevo's uh got some dedication. He's dedicated to the craft. What's his, what's his end goal? I've always wondered that. Like, is he just doing this because he gets off on it? He's enjoying his life. So, well, I mean, here's yeah, the crazy but... part. I actually know the answer to that. Okay. So, first off, like, end goal, like, what does he want to do with his life? Uh, comedy, obviously. But he right. and his fiance have he, uh, started like, a, an animal sanctuary. Yep. But he and his uh, fiance have started an animal sanctuary. <laughs> Uh, in Tennessee, and that's actually their their big like dream in life. That's good. But okay, as to why he does the fucked up shit he does, he has a very poignant and like oddly philosophical explanation to it, and that is, Steve-O talks about legacy and living on past your years, and how humans we as humans strive for that and one of the reasons he feels why is because there's human as humans we are moral and we will die and we're cursed knowing that and the craziest part is basically every human has one base instinct and that's to not die which is the one mm -hmm. inevitable thing for everybody so he uh, sees it as people try to combat that and live on in three different ways. One, have children so that you literally live beyond your years. Two, you believe in a higher power like religion, uh, you know, God, heaven, things like that. Or three, and this is the route that Steve was going, which is trying to find a way to live past your years by talking about you. And people still enjoying the things you've done. So Steve likes Bro, to say memory. that is uh, yeah, exactly. So Steve uh, likes to say he found God through a camera lens, and that's why. Which mm. again, surprisingly, like poignant. Someone whose last name is O. <laughs> Is it his first name, or did he change his name? No, no, it's a, it's a, it's not. He didn't even change his name. It's just his stage name, because okay. uh, he was doing some contest uh, where like the way to win was crowd applause, and he realized like, are you gonna, are you gonna chant Steve, 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 or are you gonna want to chant Steve O? And yeah, you want to chant Steve O way more than Steve. True. He's. It, when it comes to entertainment, he is actually like very aware. He is. Ah, really like ah figured out what the jar's for. That deep about everything. Yeah. One of his uh, oh. top sellers on his website <laughs> oh, is the Stevo mug shot coffee mug. It's a coffee mug with his f actual mug shot on it. Nice. <laughs> I figured out what we gotta do now. Brilliant advertising. Fuck Santa. No. We're gonna give Mrs. Claus the shits. Oh, oh okay. What do you mean? No, she's blocking me from fucking Santa. Is she allergic oh. to nuts? Are we gonna feed her nuts? No, we have We just found laxatives. Oh. I woke up last night from a good deep sleep and had like a monster duke. It was awesome. <laughs> like, like I was proud of it. Like I thought it was a lot, like it felt like a lot coming out and then I got up and it was so much more. I want to know what it's like to be woken up to need to go to the bathroom. Now, did you right? struggle or did it like just come out fluidly like you had? Oh, no, 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 no. No. It wanted no. out. And okay. I'm good. You have a I'm good, gonna, yeah, you have a good bowel movement. I'm going to be honest with you. Some of my like, favorite dumps are the ones that fight you coming out. <laughs> yeah. But when you wake up, you don't want that. When you wake up, you just want it out. And this one, yeah. I don't lie. Like, guys, this one was so big. This is the first time in my life I've ever thought the poop might clog the toilet. <laughs> Yeah. 
Because of how much you obsessively wipe? No, 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 no. I had, like, I gave just the poop a flush. Because I was like, I gotta be sure this goes down. Oh, she's blowing up the bathroom. <laughs> Hey, Santa. By the way, I learned to make tamales. Fun. Yeah? They're what I would consider, like, not flavor-wise, but, like, um, creation-wise, the Mexican version of Tapa. Because okay. it's literally just doing the same uh, movements over and over and over and prepping all of it. You prep a mm -hmm. giant amount, uh, and then They're you cook it. Same. Yeah. I have all the horns, right? Oh, oh maybe I should try with her. You have all the whores? Horns, yeah. Six out of six horns for a not silent night. Come on, piss. Get what you want. No, oh, no, fuck you, you cocksucker. Well, you got blue candies. What did you get blue candies? It's Viagra oh, I'm willing to bet. Walter White. Oh, I didn't even gosh darn it. But like, I can't even talk. Oh, I wouldn't mind I, taking the Viagra sometime. I, I imagine I have to put it in more hot. Why we all hang out? We should just all take Viagra. <laughs> all in a group. Last. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's I mean we should all take Viagra and see who can uh, go the longest without getting a heart. That too. Me. I oh, have come on. In numbers. That way you, you guys can all Angel's just other. gonna look at you and say Brandon and you're gonna finish. <laughs> you we all just simultaneously come, come at the same time. What does Santa want it's... from me? You're nuts. Uh, oh, fucking die. There we go. What's your plan? It's got Pilgrim video game. Oh. It's a good button mesh that I don't really have to pay attention to. So I can oh. mostly focus they on Oh, they just this. both have to be in the room. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a threesome, stupid. That just seemed really stupid. You seem stupid. Oh. 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 Hey, Santa. Aren't you going to unwrap your present? I'm ribboned for your pleasure. <laughs> like ho ho! Show me your miracle on Rule Thirty Fourth Street. <laughs> oh <laughs> fuck yeah! Ride me like a reindeer. Oh, his shirt's coming off. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, oh! I was damn. gonna say, why is Wiz still wearing that stupid uh, sweater? It's hot. Die Hard's a Christmas movie. <laughs> Santa baby, hurry up my chimney tonight. Help us <laughs> let us help you deliver that load tonight. Okay. Your load tonight. Fizz had gotten her way and brought a friend to play. With double the elf, he couldn't help himself and did dirty in the sleigh. Oh. Four star review. Merry Christmas. Marty Crumbles. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> All while Mrs. Claus on the shitter. Mrs. Claus is on the shitter. That just makes it even more romantic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think blumpkins are all that sweet. I do. Regular or upper blumpkin? Uh, upper decker blumpkins. Yeah, so an upper blumpkin. A blumper decker. A <laughs> blumper decker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That was a good one.